Hello all. In this tutorial we will set up an IVHMI communicating with an XBM PLC. We will use the XGT server as the protocol. First we will create an IV developer software program. Click on file, click on new, enter the project name. So next, select this display size, the model of the eye view, click on next, select the new link and under the new link you select link type as direct link com, device as IMO, server as XBMDR16S, select the link, com, link port, so here I am going to select the COM2 for ease of wiring, click on sublinks and click on next, sublinks will give us the advantage of using multiple number of XBM PLC connected to the same iView. Click on next. Select the board rate and all the other network parameters. Here I have selected 9608 data bits, one, no parity and one stop bit. Select the panel address as 1, PLC address as 1, timeout as 10 and retry count as 3 and click on next. Here under the number of sublinks, select it as number one because I'm using only one PLC and select the sublink as XPM01 and select the node address as the address for the PLC and click on finish. Now I have a screen where I am going to have one numeric entry and one numeric display. So I will use the numeric display to display display on monitor the disp re register d0 so select this icon select link 1 and select the sublink and select the d register which i would like to see and i would like to see d0 click on external label and in the external label click on top and click on show monitor address so we'll be able to actually monitor the address with the label press ok Double click on the numeric entry and select the link one again, sublink as zero, and we will be able to monitor D1 and use it for write operations. Click on external label, in the external label, select the position as top, show monitor addresses, and then go to general. And we will select a shape so we'll be able to differentiate between the read and the write and press on ok now i have two objects one for re monitor and one for write operations and i'll select both together and i'll be able to make it of the same size i'll select same together i'll save the program and download the program to the controller. So now I have downloaded the program. I'll create the XGB program. So click on the project, click on new project, and I will create a program iView XBM communication press ok now here you can have all your program as normal and but here I am going to do only one line which is for end operation and I'm going to select the network and select the station number as one and have the driver as XGT server and press on ok save the program download the program press ok place the controller to run mode now I'm going to monitor so we can monitor what is the D0 and D1 registers 
but also I'll be able to monitor the iView remotely. So I'll use the VNC server. So we can see this is the two registers which we have D0 and D1. I can change the address 32 and you can see the values being updated here as well. Also I can write D0 value as 12 for example and then I can see the VNC server and the value is getting updated. Also we will be able to change the value of D0 from D1 from the screen and we have changed it to 55 and you can see the value is getting updated within the PLC as well. Thank you for watching this video.